and action. Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. What's going on, Tommy? What's going on? It's very cold right now, but we're gonna warm up a little bit. Uh, but it's pretty calm right now here. We're not experiencing like we are on the West Coast and some of the Western states where they're experiencing extreme heat and uh, fire. So luckily we don't deal with that here, but I do hope that my family that lives out in California and the Bay Area is staying safe. Right, uh, much appreciated to your family, Tommy. Hopefully we'll share this to your family. We are having some major firestorms. So uh, until then, um, we have some YouTube celebrity gossip news, so uh, let's go to work and here we go. So welcome back everyone. Well, Tommy, you got some news for us. What's going on for this week? Okay, well, there's a YouTube channel called The Nook Boys uh, that's made up of Steve and Bradley. And they recently have lost their ability to be able to monetize their videos temporarily due to the fact that they have pulled two stunts of having people join them in protest against safety protocols uh, to help contain the coronavirus. Uh, one in LA, which um, they were out there in LA having signs saying reopen gyms and their fans out there uh, saying gym lives matter. Yes, you heard me right, gym lives matter. As if gyms are actual real people, which are not, we'll get into that later. But the, the one that put the nail in the coffin and got them to lose their monetization uh, the capabilities was they also organized a, another protest recently in Illinois, specifically the State University of Illinois, um, which they had a bunch of people come out not in close proximity in both these areas where nobody was wearing masks. And that goes against YouTube protocol of not promoting um, things that will put other people in danger. Uh, this also was brought aware of to the uh, School of Illinois State University who wasn't even aware when they were asked about it by BuzzFeed um, that they weren't even aware that this was happening. They had no idea this happening. So that's that part of the story. And here's how it affects the students of Illinois State University because uh, now the police, the campus police and the police of the place where this is, is in Normal, the city of Normal, as you hear me right, Normal, Illinois, uh, are now investigating and if they are caught in the videos that have been uh, posted up on YouTube and Facebook, and if any of these people are caught in any videos online, they could be suspended, uh, they from uh, kicked out of school, and fined by the school, and also uh, spend some time in in, uh, in jail for a few few nights. Well, um, if I were them, I would really, you know, I know people have beliefs and I know that uh, pretty much people think what they think and you can't stop what people think. But honestly, I would, you know, if they want to keep everything like their YouTube channels, if they want to um, make amends with YouTube, then I wouldn't post that kind of stuff whatsoever just because it's going to hurt your, um, it's going to hurt a lot of things out there that you're trying to, you know, do as far as a YouTuber. Basically about the gyms and having their fans be a part of a lot of videos out there for this kind of thing is absolutely not so good just because it does sound ridiculous when you say when you hear them chanting gym uh, they were chanting gym lives matter as in the object where people go to work out a building 
uh, where people go to work out is like a real person. I get it. Some people, you know, they want to, they want to have the ability to go back to the gym, but a lot of people, <laughs> but, but they're just saying that because they, um, believe that, oh, that my rights are getting infringed on, but it's a difference between infringing on someone's rights and protecting someone's health out there. Um, not only were they putting their fans at risk in LA, but they're putting these students at risk at the school, not just for their health, but also ruining their chances of, at a good education. So the initial stunt that they pulled in LA had already reached over 1 million views on the YouTube channel and over 100,000 likes. And by the way, to show you how popular these guys are, is they have over 5 million subscribers. So remember, the consequences are not just falling on you, it falls on the people that also watch you and participate in these stunts. Right. So, um, Tommy's uh, story will be down in the section down below so you can read more about the story and go to some articles. So, moving on, Tommy, guess what? What, Chris? Well, this is the 30th anniversary of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So, we've heard from major sources out there that um, they're going to reboot, that Will Smith plans to reboot the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You know, have everybody make a cameo. Everybody will be a part of it from the original cast. Um, the only one that will not be a part of it is Uncle Phil, and that's James Avery. So James Avery has passed away. He passed away uh, a couple of years ago due to some health issues that he had. He will not be in the remake but hopefully they do mention him yeah hopefully they do talk about him um, mention him kind of like what they're doing with Cobra Kai remake with um, Ralph Macchio, William Zekka and etc so hopefully they do the same thing of what they are doing with that show for the remake of Fresh Prince. Now tell me Janet Hubert um, that played the original Aunt Viv you know, she was uh, fired due to speaking of voice and having her opinion on the show. Janet and Will actually just recently got together and Will wanted to make peace with Janet and say, you know, straighten everything out because if there was ever a reunion that Janet wouldn't go because she called Will out. She was really upset with Will by saying he's an Janet and Will just, like I said, recently got together to make peace, and you never know, maybe she'll, she will show up on the new reboot. Um, I'm glad that Janet and Will were able to rehatch um, some old things and get things straightened out. I think that's great that they're able to sell the differences, and so um, in the reboot, they, you know, if they wanted to make a uh, if, you know, if they can't get the other person in for some reason, they can have her make an appearance here and there. Uh, I think it's great because, you know, it's, it's like you said with Cobra Kai, that they're honoring, you know, people that have passed away. And then also, um, you know, and having old cast members making uh, appearances in the new show, just like with um, Fuller House, you know, where they have the old cast come in and, you know, make appearances every once in a while. So I think that's a really great way to reboot a show um, versus, you know, where it's just like a whole new cast and then you never bring any of the old cast in. I also think it's great that uh, Will Smith is, you know, taking the reins on this and, you know, really going to really make it, you know, uh, a really solid show just, you know, in the, in the same uh, similarity to the original, but also make it fresh and new to this era. Right, I could see some really good storylines happening, some new comedy material. So, um, you never know what's going to happen, but I'm excited to see it. There's a lot of opinions out there that people are not excited to see it. They don't think it's going to work. Kerba Kai worked out. Um, Fuller House worked out. A lot of the shows that are being rebooted 
from back then, today, they're working out really good. So that's what I like, and I like to see new stuff happen where, like you said, Tommy, new cast members come in, take over, and make it their own material along with the older materials. My story will be down in the section down below. And Tommy, what can people do? They can like this video. It'll help us get up in the algorithm. They can leave comments down below and tell us what they thought about these stories. They can click on that notification bell to let people know when we upload videos in the future. And don't forget to subscribe. Right, and this has been a top level media. And stay safe out there. We'll see you around. See you everyone. Bye. Bye.